Sirens, welcome back to Chicago, Land of Sirens. There you get the camera straight here. Yeah, we got a lot of wind today. It's, it's uh, rain's blowing in here, so. Yeah, the wind's got a funnel down. Look at this car, wow. It's a Lamborghini. It's a green Lamborghini going up Michigan Avenue. How's everybody doing here? Welcome to uh, Chicago. Welcome to Michigan Avenue. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a good job with all this wind. We'll see if the wind dies down once I get down towards uh, Millennium Park here and Randolph Street. We'll cross and head south. I have this idea of trying to walk down towards... Uh, South Loop there, uh, South Branch of the Chicago River. Uh, we just got just past the noon hour here. Hey, John James, how you doing there? Julie Reed, thanks for tuning in. I know we got a lot of wind, and so uh, let me see if the wind dies down once we get down here to Randolph here. We'll go by, probably head straight down Michigan Avenue. I'll cut into the loop and zigzag around. Hey, we got some... Uh, Mennonites or some Amish are heading across the street there. Usually when I go to uh, Union Station, there'll be whole families and groups like that that'll be waiting for trains and things like that. And uh, here we're at Michigan and Randolph. Hey, uh, Crystal Blue Funk, Ritz, uh, Rock 77, hi, how you doing there, Julie? Well, I already said Julie and John James there. And Andres, thanks for tuning in. Eric, how you doing there? Christopher Dodson, how you doing there? That's okay. Hey, have fun at have fun at your retreat there. Yeah, Christopher Dotson. Everybody, please check out Christopher Dotson's page there on YouTube. He's got an amazing amount of content. And uh, thanks for tuning in. There's the L going by. But that's okay. You can drop in and out. Patricia, how you doing there? Yeah, thanks everybody for saying hello. And here, did I miss anybody? Here, we'll just uh going to die down it's it's so funny like the trees are not blowing but the winds like right at the ground level which is weird <laughs> like uh, you know hey look at this nice artwork here we're heading towards the art institute the trees are blooming here on michigan avenue here's a nice street wall of buildings here there's the cultural center and uh yeah, we'll walk by the bean, and then we'll just head down to the south loop and uh, enjoy this 60 degree plus day before the rain comes in. Hey, people are sitting by the colonnade there. They'll turn that fountain on later. And uh, Yeah, which fountain are you talking about? Uh, we got several fountains. Uh, the Buckingham Fountain? Yeah, probably not. They don't have it turned on yet. They'll turn on the Buckingham Fountain, the big giant fountain in Grant Park. I can show you the general direction where it's at. I walked by there before I got videos where we go by it about a month ago. But once they turn that on, yeah, I'll, I'll start working that in. Maybe once a week we'll walk by the Buckingham Fountain. Uh, I could do it. I mean, if, if everybody... If that's what you want me to do, I can head over to the Buckingham Fountain and we can go to the South Loop later in the week. Look at the beautiful flowers. Hey, look at those. Look at those yellow ones. I like that. This is where they have the uh, Christmas tree in the holiday season. Anna Marie, how you doing there? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's always, uh, no matter where I go, you know, I know people have suggestions. It's it's all par for the course. I appreciate people letting me know what you're interested in. Um, let's see what time we got. Yeah, 12.04. 60 degrees at least. I'm not even wearing a jacket. It's nice. I was wearing a jacket this morning. It was about 50 degrees this morning. Look at the tulips. Hey, let's tiptoe through the tulips. Anita, how you doing there? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. So rain's supposed to come through the area this evening. I, I hope it will hold off until I get home. You know, I, there's, 
I got an after work event at five o'clock. I don't, I probably won't stay there more than to 5.30 unless I get drawn into some other extracurricular stuff. And then uh, I'll start. So I might be on just a little bit later on TikTok tonight. But, uh, you know, I do have a day job. I do have to go to an after work event thing. Starts right at five here. So here's the here's the bean. Here's the great bean of Chicago. Thanks for tuning in. You see, they're, they're still under fencing, so they're still under construction. I've been updating people on uh, construction progress. People ask about the bean. They said, "Hey, is it done with construction?" No. You see, the fencing's still here. Hey, how you doing there, Julie Reed and Anita, John James? Yeah, thanks. And am I missing anybody else here? Anna Marie, how you doing there? Yeah. So uh, we'll head straight down past the Crown Fountain. And uh, yeah. See, Chris, Christopher, you're dealing with the same thing. You got some stuff to do over lunch. I understand. It's the way it is. But hey, the trees are looking nice. We did have sunshine for a brief period this morning, which, you know, in, when I walked to work, it was these clouds rolled in so rain's rolling in so we'll get our lunch walk in here and yeah i missed the protest yesterday of course uh, people were asking me about the i guess it was uh pro-palestinian protest o'hare they tried to block the entrance to o'hare and then there was more counter protests downtown at LaSalle and wacker i missed that last night because i was already at oak street beach i'll cut out that footage from oak street beach i'm still whittling down the footage from Sunday when we spent good time there with Brandon and Chris and uh, here we'll head through the uh, Crown Fountain here and we'll, we'll ease back down towards Michigan Avenue here look at the beautiful skyline with the tulips look at that you can see the bean there see the bean on the right the tulips in the foreground Dia Blaze how you doing there thanks for tuning in yeah we got the tulips are popping here spring has sprung Look how beautiful it looks down here. Yeah, people are taking photos with the trees. and Yeah, that's good. See you soon, Christopher. Yeah, yeah thanks for being on, Christopher. And please, people, check out Christopher Dotson. has a good page there on YouTube with all his content. He's got th twice as many videos as I do, at least. 600, I think, and counting. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Videos of the New York area. He went up to Connecticut. He gets around. So let's see here. Yeah, there's the Crown Fountain over there. Yeah, they got braces on. That's nice. How you doing? And uh, yeah, people were people were taking pictures in front of the tulips. They were playing a pickup football game here. When was that? Was that yesterday? Yeah, we did walk through here yesterday. We went over to Lakeshore East, so we'll we'll head a different area here. And. Uh, Dolores, thanks for tuning in. How you doing there? Welcome to the Crown Fountain. There, there's the uh, Chicago Athletic Club there. It's a hotel now. It used to be a private club. Now you can go inside there. We snuck inside there and got some footage of the lobby. Hey, smiling with the braces looks good. Hey, so later this spring, they'll turn on this fountain and then it'll be spitting out water, but now it's... Uh, just a regular plaza you can sit here on the timbers and yeah isn't that nice the crown fountain here millennium park trees are looking nice yeah look at that view hey we got the food trucks over here we'll go by the art institute we'll see if the nice pretty plaza there well there, there's a fountain to i don't think they have it I, they might not have it turned on yet there's a fountain on the south plaza of the art institute here it's like the fountain to the five great lakes it's such a beautiful area, but they've been having that whole, they had, they've been having that plaza blocked off. So, uh, there, there's the university club and the Monroe building, these, uh, commercial and club buildings that have pitched roof there. <laughs> oh, we missed the light. So we'll cross, we'll cross over into, uh, we'll cross Michigan Avenue here. Yeah, we got the light here, so we'll follow these people. We'll, we'll head over to Wabash. But here, here's Michigan Avenue looking south. There's the 
Look, the guy's on the one wheel. He's got the, wow, look at this, yeah. Look how fast that accelerates. You can just zip. It's so, so fast. Everybody's, everybody's honking. Everybody's in a hurry. Look at the traffic here on Michigan Avenue, looking north. We're at uh, Monroe here. And there's the Art Institute. Look at the tulips. Looking nice. We'll head into the loop. Go to Wabash. Hey, how you doing? Chris, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, so you didn't miss much. We used, it was kind of windy when I started. We walked by the bean, and so we'll head down to Wabash. And then I want to try to see if we can make it to the... I want to try to, you know, when we, Chris, you know, when we took that water taxi, we went by the uh, River City there where the, the, they were selling the boat and there was the, 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 the Summer of George boat, that big party boat you could rent. Just north of there, there's a riverfront walk that we saw from, I want to see if I can make it down to there because I went to it a few times last year and it was always closed and then I stopped going there because I didn't know when it was going to reopen and it's, it was probably open in the fall and I didn't go down there. So I'm gonna go down there and try to film that on this thing. So we'll probably head back through Printer's Row. It might take me a while to get down there, but we'll give it a try. So we're at uh, Monroe and Wabash here. We'll see if we get an L train going by. Julie, how you doing there? Bob, how you doing there? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks everybody. There's the Palmer House Hilton right there. And there's, uh, we got the light here, so we'll cross to the other side of Wabash. Get this nice view. Looking north here, up to the Trump Tower. And we got uh, Miller's Pubs down there. Yeah. Looking under the L tracks here on Wabash Avenue, Loop of Chicago. Thanks for being part of this. We'll cross over this way. Hey, thanks, Daryl, for turning in, tuning in from Burbank. That's great, Southwest Side. Tara, how you doing? Thanks for being on the live here. We'll cross uh, Monroe here, heading south on Wabash. There's main entrance to the Palmer House Hilton over there. There's a side entrance on this side too. So there's the green line. It's it's at the station there. You see it up there on the tracks. There, it's heading this way. Good. So we'll get the green line heading north here around the loop. Welcome to Chicago, scenes of the city. Sounds of the city. Yeah. Oh, Palmer House Hilton. They got this, this cookies, Sugar Bliss. You can go to Sugar Bliss right here. Yeah, get your... Sugar Fix, Palmer House, UPS Store, Miller's Pub. It just says Mill Pub. They got ribs. This is the uh, Adams and Wabash Station. Krista, how you doing there? Yeah. Fine food and spirits. Family owned and operated since 1935. Miller's Pub right here on Wabash. Canadian baby back ribs. Yeah, you go inside there, get the burger and a beer. Got tulips here. Hey, look at that little pig barbecue neon sign. I like that. Steak and chops. Best burgers in town. <laughs> so, there you see, you hear the L coming into the station here. So here, let's head over to State Street. Look at that. Look at that view to the Sears Tower. See, this is Adam Street. This is Route 66. There's Burkhoff's uh, German restaurant over there. And we'll go by JJ Fish. JJ Fish is all over, mainly on, you see him a lot on the south side, JJ Fish and Chicken. They got one downtown here on, there you can see what you get to get the, the battered, flour battered fish, fries. What is this? El Greco's Burritos. Go to El Greco's Burritos right next to JJ Fish. The Adams and the... Uh, Wabash Station there. There's Jimmy's Euros. Go to Jimmy's Euros. Jimmy's Original. Euros and Grill. <laughs> oh no, I, I'm thinking of Jim's Original. Jim's Original's down in Maxwell. It's down uh, Union and Maxwell Street by the Dan Ryan there. 
and uh, that's Jimmy's. So they're just copying the name there. Yeah. Jeffrey, how you doing there? Yeah, business. Party in the front, biz business in the front, party in the back. It's my hairstyle. Look at this commercial building right at uh, Adams and uh, State here. We'll get to, hey, we'll cross here real quickly. Got a few seconds here. There's the Air Washington Library. They got this mural here. There's Sears Tower. There's the uh, State Street, that great street. Tulips are popping. We got the light. There's looking south on State Street. There's looking north on State Street, Chicago, Illinois. Thanks for checking out some of the city here. We're cruising. We'll head straight under Burkhoff's here. Adam Street. <laughs> Rules and regulations. Read the fine print. There's the camera straight. I guess it's pretty straight. A little crooked, maybe. There we go. See if I go that way now, it's too far one way. There, that looks better. Adam Street Brewery. Look at that sign, Burkhoff's restaurant. It's open. People are sitting in there. Burkhoff's Cafe. They got the they got the number one liquor license. Let's see if I can show it to you here. Let's see. Is there, should I go in here? Yeah, we got to use this other entrance. Established 1898. Of course, they had to close during prohibition, but then they got liquor license number one. They got it on the, the bar here. Let's see if we can film it here. There it is. Liquor license number one, 1933. There he is, proud to, and they guys still got it displayed here. Let's see if we can find it. And look at the beautiful thing. Hey, 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 hey. That's great. Look at the friendly staff here. Here's the bar at the Burkhoffs. Look at this beautiful bar. And then if you go to the end here, of course, this German cuisine, sausages and stuff like that. You go to the end here. They got liquor license number one. Look at that. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Yeah. yeah, it's only 170 bucks. It's pretty cheap. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, have a good day. That's great. So here we'll head right back out here. That's the liquor license number one. And uh, there, Burkhoff's restaurant. So you know, the, we got the Italian Village. We got Burkhoff's. All these classic Loop restaurants that are still here. It's closed down a few times, but I'm glad that it's still here and reopened. You got the inlaid wood and stained glass it's almost like a cheers but a german style yeah it's an amazing place thanks patricia yeah our kind of place there tara thanks for seeing that oh the vertical signs yeah you know we we lost so many of those we were pointing them out there in chinatown too Wan cow and all those places here we got 1218 we'll go by jay was jay was just recently here she was down here filming the flamingo and uh, here we're down at Adams and Dearborn. Let's see if we get the light here. Let's see, is it about to change? Yeah, it's about to change here. So we'll head into the Federal Plaza. So this is Chris. This is Mies van der Rohe. It looks, yeah, it looks really similar to those, those buildings we saw from the river over by uh, Union Station. And it's because the same, you know, so many Mies cause it was cheaper to build this way so the developers loved the international style and the modern style the glass boxes and then everything became a glass box and looked dated and but when this was first built this was very modern looking to have such a big open clear space like that you could look through the 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 the, the lines of the piles line up with the mullions in the, the the windows there that divide the windows here's the uh collier um, flamingo sculpture here in the Federal Plaza and uh, let's see if they got a plaque to it here or something you can walk it's a great sculpture like the Picasso you can see look he's 73 there he's, he signed it there with the weld <laughs> and there's the Kozinski building federal building and uh, we'll head right behind the, this is a post office. This is the, the, the last post office branch in the loop that I know of. There used to be one in the Aeon. Look how you can look right up to the Sears Tower there. 
Yeah, I get a large schnitzel, yeah. Lager and a schnitzel, that's what you go to Burkhoff's for. That's, that's exactly it. So here we'll head down this way. See how there's a the loading dock and the parking is underneath there. They got a secure, this is a very secure area because this is a federal courthouse. The Don, Donald, Don, uh, Kosinski building and the Dirk, the Dirk, other one's the Dirksons building. Dirksen and the Kosinski. So this wind trust, the other side of it is LaSalle Street and it fronts the, this next to the Board of Trade there. And this, we got the same columns on the other side there. And uh, we'll head down Jackson, which connects to the Board of Trade. And uh, there's some interesting sculptures and statues over there. Yeah, there's Mies van der Rohe in Philadelphia. Yeah, they, they did that at the um, east end of downtown towards the river there. Yeah, there's like those three buildings. Yeah, they, 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 and also the Seagram's building in New York, I think. Uh, Phil Johnson, you know, was also part of that. And then he became like the first postmodern, you know, all those architects. But here, here's looking up uh, Clark Street, 230 South Clark Street. We're at Jackson here. So we'll go right by the Board of Trade. And uh, I might try to cross the street because there's a interesting sculpture that they saved from the old original Board of Trade building that they tore down to build these ones. And see, we got some traffic coming here. We're West Jackson here. There's the L going by in the distance. There you can see that view to the Sears Tower. Heading west on uh, Jackson Street, Loop of Chicago. Columns everywhere. So this is the side of the Board of Trade. Look at the, the city. Here's these statues. They, they saved these statues and that fountain. Well, that fountain was new. That fountain is Art Deco. It's a beautiful fountain. And look at these sculptures here. Uh, LaSalle and uh, Jackson Street, Chicago. Chicago Board of Trade. Look here. Here's what the old Board of Trade looked like. It had that clock. It had a it had a taller tower, but then they had to top, top off the tower and they moved the clock down. And uh, the Stock Exchange was a different building. Chicago Board of Trade here, and they saved these statues from that original building. See the corn. See just like the corn, the series. You know the goddess, the corn, the cornucopia industry. Look at this fountain. Look at this beautiful fountain here. And look how we can head right around this fountain and we can go underneath some of the old trading floors of the Chicago Board of Trade that aren't really used anymore for, for how they were historically used. This is the annex. There's the Ceres Cafe, the Ceres Cafe at the bottom of the Chicago Board of Trade. And uh, we'll walk underneath this uh, plaza that connects. We got some uh, Jack. Jack Schwartz, Jack Schwartz, world's finest cigars. There's a humidor, people smoking cigars there. You, where can you find a nice cigar store like that? Let's see how you can, let's see if we can do this. Oh, okay. Oh, you're good. So look, the security, the security was, was watching me. The security was watching me. I was, I was gonna attempt to go in there and the security was watching me from behind and started to say something, even though I didn't go in there. Isn't it amazing? So here we'll walk through. We'll walk through. Uh, I, I have walked through there before, and then now they're kind of on to me. It's funny how all the corporate security is very much on the live streamers now. So there was like a window. Here, there's the uh, L going around. We're down to uh, Van Buren, Van Buren in the south. Here's the steps that go up to the, there's the, there's the L round in the bend there, the Van Buren and LaSalle Street Station here on the south end of the loop. Look at that sky bridge that connects across uh, Van Buren there. Good morning, how you doing there? Oh, you got friends that were runners back in the 80s? Yeah, they, they, it wasn't that amazing. It was a whole ecosystem of people with those colored jackets and numbers and hand signals and you know, here we're down at Van Buren and Financial. Hey, the sun might be coming out, so we'll wait for the uh, light to change here. We'll head over into this little plaza. The tulips are blooming here. This is, this is down by the LaSalle Street Station. Um, financial Place, or by the actual Chicago Stock Exchange here. 
CTC Trading Company. Look at the tulips. They got this horse statue over here. Hey, they got the fountain on here for the horse statue. Thanks for tuning in. If you just tuned in, we're in Chicago. We got 12.25 in the p.m. just after lunchtime here. And we got low 60s. It's not a bad day, actually, for April standards. And, uh, hey, you were in Chicago in 1998? Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, this was a lot different in 1998. It would have been a lot more crowded. There would have been a lot more people with their their respective pit jackets and their numbers and uh, this was a really busy place now it's all electronic algorithmic robotic trading stocks never go down anymore they only go up thanks Jerome Powell and Janet Yellen and Ben Bernanke <laughs> all we get is inflation people don't realize that the dynamic it's a hidden tax that keeps the power structure in place you can invest what everybody else already owns, like Warren Buffett. Look at the uh, look at the horse here. Look at the horse statue here. They see LaSalle Street Station. There's the stock exchange. It goes over that. That's the old trading floor that went over top of the. Uh, I, now it's Ida B. Wells. It used to be Congress. It connects right with the Eisenhower Expressway 290 that goes straight west. There's the Sears Tower. And you can see the back of the board of trade right there. So, hey, hey, I think we're going to make it. So we're, we're, we're going to cross Ida B. Wells. And over here by the river, there's a river walk. And that's why I came down here. I wanted to film this. Look at this old rail car. There's this Italian restaurant here. And they, you actually go inside the, uh, the old rail car here. And see, there was a bunch of rail yards down here, you know, in the Dearborn Street Station. This is the... Uh, tri tri Trito Italian Restaurante. Rest am I saying it right? And uh, it looks like it's closed. <laughs> so T Tutto, Tutto, T U T T O, Toto Italian, but it's closed. But you can see it was a nice uh, rail car there that they set right on the sidewalk there, right by the stock exchange. We'll cross the street here. You see how this turns? This is the last light, that's the last light, and then you, you have, you turn into interstate. And that's why that car was racing to make the light. There's the La Chicago Stock Exchange, LaSalle Street Metro Station. We've, we've gone up there and filmed the platform. Here's the uh, real estate. And so we're, we'll head down towards uh, Harrison here. There's, there's the old post office. So you see where we're at here, the old post office. And there's that building we saw, Chris, with the, it looks like the Legos, that residential building. If I head this way, we'll get a nice view to the Sears Tower once we get around this building. We're at the south end of uh, Well Street. You see the L bins around there. And there's the Board of Trade right there. Yeah, they should ring the bell. Ring the bell every day when the stocks start trading. They do it, they do it in uh, Wall Street in New York, but it's just symbolic. It's just for the CNBC. And so the people can stand up there and get their photo op when they go public. You know, they do it for the NASDAQ too and New York Stock Exchange. There's the, uh, yeah, look at this building. This building has a mural on the side of it. So now we're kind of heading into the South Loop. This is Well Street. They have connected Well Street to Wentworth all the way to Chinatown, but they blocked off the street. They, they, they don't have it open yet. They're waiting for the 78 to be developed. And, you know, of course, people probably would use it for street racing and burnouts or whatever. But uh, there, there's that mural. Look at, look at that water tower up there and that interesting mural on the side of the building. You see the Board of Trade right there behind it. I almost ran into a pole. <laughs> but here, I got to get across this street somehow. Is there another? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait here, but that's okay. But here we'll film some of the uh, South Loop here. This is Well Street. Look at all this new housing. This ha this housing is all relatively new, at least in the last five years. The Grand Central. They call it the Metro. And uh, but here, look at that view to the see. And then there's there's like these 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 off ramps that go in a circle, and they kind of made this a park, but it's called the Angelo Park. But and, and, and but it's kind of hard to access. It's it's you see how they fence it off and. You know, it doesn't work. It, to me, it's just not as accessible as they could have made it. 
but uh, you see how there's not many people down here anyway. But they get this nice housing. Yeah, look at that mural. Look at that. I'll film that mural here while we're waiting for the light there. Yeah, that's an interesting mural. It, it reminds me of the 70s. Almost reminds you of like Shel Silverstein drawings or something, you know. And uh, we'll wait for this person to make a left. So that's, that's that style in the 70s and 80s, you know, like Jerome the Frog or something. But here, we'll, we'll wait. We got 12.30. So we made it down here. So since, we're, since I'm down here, we'll go over and film this river walk, boardwalk kind of an esplanade here at the South Loop. The, I, I guess it was closed the first half of last year because there was a fire. I don't know if it was uh, an, a house, an house person accidentally set it on fire trying to stay warm or somebody arsonist caught it on fire. They had to uh, repair it. I don't know the whole backstory to it, but I know it was closed for a while. Now it's back open. We saw it on Sunday when Chris Brandon and I took the river boat river river taxi down to Chinatown and uh, there you see the 311 south Wacker building this is see the the Reed condominiums that's that building there's at least two more buildings that are planned in this open area and uh, they're just waiting I guess and hey mama goo how you doing there so Mama Goo, I think we figured out, and I'll just come straight clean with you. Probably, and I'll I'll, I'll take the responsibility, and uh, I want you to know what's going on. You probably got either by me, probably me, not not my moderators. You probably made like some comment you thought was funny, and I like blocked your account on TikTok, so that's why you can't find me on TikTok. So thanks for tuning in on YouTube. I don't know how to fix that, so. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. You know, you can uh, follow me with a different account, but that's the way TikTok works. And I have no idea. I do not remember you with your name, what the comment was. It could have been an accident or it could have been you you were trying to make a political point or something. And I didn't like it. And I was like in a bad mood or something. So that's why you can't find me there on TikTok. So uh, it's just the nature of social media. I don't make the rules either. I've, I've, been, I've been blocked myself and we all know how this is not free speech and uh so uh we'll work something out but uh thanks for trying to find me there that's what happens sometimes here so here let me start this over here so let me uh i got distracted by talking to mama goo there it's like you almost came on exactly when i wanted to talk about this so um, here we are. Welcome to Chicago. We're, we're in the edge of the South Loop. There you see the Sears Tower and there you see this mural here. You see how this connects up to Harrison Street. We're, uh, we're at Wacker and Harrison and see how it crosses the South Branch Chicago River. There's the old post office. There's the new BMO Harris Tower. Here's the new, here's the new post office. It's pretty much automated. See all the post mail delivery trucks there. Thanks, Mama Goo. Thanks for understanding. We'll 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 get you back here somehow. And uh, thanks for being on YouTube. It's all misunderstandings here. Here's Harrison Street Overlook. That's what they call this. Here, see the city view, just like Chris Brandon and I did on um, Sunday. You can take architectural cruises or water taxis take you down to Chinatown. Look at this wonderful river walk they got here on the South Loop, and older Chicagoans will remember this area didn't have as many amenities until they built all this that's when they added this river walk and they they renovated the old post office it said vacant for years downtown used to just end right at uh, I, what's I to be Wells now now Congress look at the shoreline barge large barge going by here that's an architectural cruise you see the uh, announcer on there and uh, look at this wonderful riverfront esplanade here there's the Sears Tower. And uh, here we'll head down to, we'll head down to see how far this goes. It only goes about a block. They want to extend this all the way to Chinatown eventually. That's the master plan once they develop the 78, whether or not they're gonna build a new baseball stadium there or anything else. And this is like the first phase of it. And they had to repair this already. <laughs> and that's why they were working on it. Esplanade, yeah, thanks Michael Anderson. Thanks Anita. Yeah, reach out to Sarah. Yeah, reach out to Sarah. That's a good idea, Anita. And see, look, look at my great team of moderators here. Chris was helping you out yesterday. Anita's helping you out today. 
reach out to Sarah and we'll get you set up there, Mama Goo. So you're in the right place. Thanks for being on here. The accidents happen. And I, I, I'm so humbled that I got back up to 50,000 on TikTok. It's hard for me to keep track of 100 people, let alone 50,000. And uh, every day we, we run into people in the street and I appreciate they say hello, you know, and they say, hey, I'm this person. I'm like, yeah, you know, but I can't remember everybody, you know, and mostly you by being on the lunch bunch here helps out because we got a smaller, more intimate audience and people that tune into the lunch bunch end up getting to know each other. And it's great. This this team of people that uh, enjoy this content and have the time to uh, spend with me here. I appreciate it. So here, I want to see this rock wall. I noticed this rock wall. Remember those, those boats? We saw the, 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 the Summer of George boat. I think the Summer of George, George boat, you can rent it for parties. And there's a smaller boat that goes with it too. And then there's that Dennis boat that's for sale that we saw. And you can see I clipped out that footage yesterday and it's on TikTok. Here's this rock seating wall. You can sit on this wall. I think there's a dog park. See how this connects right down to underneath the reed at South Bank, this housing here. And there they are, they tell it about it here. And let's see how far this goes. Let's see if we can get out to this. And then we'll reverse this and there's really spectacular views of this Sears Tower and the other way. Yeah, 50K and growing. Hey, Anita, see, thanks for being a part of it. You're a part of it. Chris is a part of it. Sarah and Diana and all my great team there and long time friends and followers, Tara, you know, and everybody else here. Look at that. Uh, Look at that view to the Sears Tower, the BMO Harris building there. I guess it's just BMO. This is kind of the skyline as looking from, as, as you see it from the South Loop. And you see how they go, yeah, let's go over to this harbor here. Let's see if we can see the Summer of George boat. <laughs> Look at, they got the, yeah. And, and just today I clipped out that uh, Brandon's amenity deck down there on the eighth and seventh floor of the Optima Signature. I wonder if the TikTok's going to think I'm promoting the Optima Signature because I just copied and pasted their promo, but it was just the easiest way to put some context there for the notes. Here, there's Patron Goldbergs. That's 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 uh, River City. This is River City. It looks, you notice how it looks similar to the Marina Towers. It's the same architect. Patron Goldberg designed this. This came later. This came after the Marina Towers. And there were supposed to be several phases of this. They only built the first phase, and they got this nice uh, harbor here right on the river. It's amazing how both of his developments use the Chicago River as part of the architecture. And look at the uh, view looking north there. Yeah, only high rollers on the lunch brunch. Thanks, Richard. You're part of it, Merck. Yeah, the water looks clean. It looks clean. I still wouldn't drink it. But, uh, yeah, I know Patricia. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to connect the names, you know. I have the same problem, and uh, yeah, even Mama Goo, you have a different name there for TikTok, which is understandable. We all do. A lot of people do. I try to keep a consistent. Look and see how they got this harbor right here, and there, yeah, those down there is the Summer of George boat. Those two docks, you can rent those. Of course, it references George Costanza there in this great Seinfeld episode. Oh, these are some seriously pricey boats. Yeah, we were looking at these. Look. Yeah, because you could just pull right out into the river, and uh, I don't know what they do for winter storage, but look, these boats are already in the harbor, so that maybe they just leave them here year-round. There's a pontoon boat. Here's the loading dock for this uh, development. So here, there's the Metro pulling in there. We'll head right through the south loop. We'll go up through Printer's Row. I got to start heading back to work. I got 20 minutes to get back to work, so we'll continue to film the arena, oh, the River City. I keep wanting to call it Green Towers, but it's River City. We got trouble right here in River City. Look at that little, they got like a putting green there, or just maybe it's just AstroTurf. And yeah, there's an interesting wall here that they retained. It, it, it was here before they built it, I guess back when it was rail yards. And they got this this long stone arch wall that, that Patron Goldberg used as part of the River City development here. And look how they got the vents for the parking garage underneath. And uh, here we're at Wells and Polk, Wells and Polk Street, South Loop of Chicago. Thanks for tuning in. We got 12:40 in the p.m. here. And I'll show you. I'll get across the street here, and I'll show you this wall I was talking about. Hey, we got the light here. Good. 
So, yeah, look at that. Look at that stone wall at the bottom of the uh, River City development there. And now there's there's a roof roof terrace with the trees up there. They got an amenity deck. I, I've known people that have lived in that. It's an interesting building to live in. And uh, here we'll head we'll head straight down to Dearborn Station. I can see the clock tower for Dearborn Station here. So uh, yeah, thoughtful planning. See, urban planning links with architecture, city planning, civil engineering, landscape architecture. All these disciplines are interdisciplinary. They overlap each other. Engineering, civil engineering, structural engineering, making sure the building doesn't fall down, making sure the buildings, the, the bridges work, the railroad bridges. Master planning. Development phased over time. The raised streets, the raising the streets, the multiple level of streets for access. There's so much planning that went into the current form of downtown Chicago that we got, and that's why we talk about it all the time. And we can't, we shouldn't just throw it away. All this American capital that was invested over the years, you know, and uh, bonds were floated. They built the L, they built the, the loop, concentrate all these rail yards that used to concentrate all the commerce here, and then they, they the railroad declined, and so they ripped up the rail yards, and then they planned new whole new neighborhoods like Lakeshore East, the South Loop, the 78 is going to be the newest one. That used to be rail yards. That's why we still have capacity in Chicago. We're not so crowded and congested and we still have developable land really close into the city and uh, the city needs to maintain its tax base. You know, that's that's all part of it. And if so many more people live in the South Loop and even the loop now than used to. They, 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 this used, none of this used to be here. Look at that, we're looking south on Clark Street there. That's all new housing. Most of it's been built since I've moved to the city. Almy Lofts, here at LaSalle and Polk. So you can look up to the stock exchange. This is, that's the whole rail yard for the LaSalle Street station. And we're heading over towards Dearborn Station here in the south loop. Ricky Young, how you doing there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Chicago has made... And it goes back to the 1909 Burnham plant. It actually goes back to the Great Chicago Fire. If it wasn't for the Great Chicago Fire, Chicago wouldn't have as well-planned and orderly downtown. They used it as an opportunity to widen the streets, lay the trolley tracks, build the L, straighten out the Chicago River. There was a big bend down here that they straightened out. They reversed the river. Think of, think of how much work they did to make the city work. This was a swampy, you know, pestilence area with, you know, the swampy and malaria and whatever, cholera. Uh, that's why they, they had to make the clean water, go out into the lake, dig the tunnels, you know. It's, uh, it's amazing. So we walked down Clark Street when we went to the White Sox home opener, we went down to that site there at uh, Randolph and Clark where Jerry Reinsdorf, his dream is to build a <laughs> the stadium there for the White Sox, but the problem is who's going to pay for it, the, the biggest problem. So here we'll, uh, we'll cross over to Dearborn Station and we'll head up into Printer's Row here and we'll reverse all this. Hey, thanks for coming along here. Thanks for being part of the Lunch Bunch here. And uh, there, there's a car making a left turn here. We'll cross. We're going. There we go. And, uh, there, you see some of the housing area where the south loop kind of suddenly ends down there by that target. Yeah, we got, and, of course, and just the fact that the majority of the lakefront is, is public park space that we all share. Other cities, other lake cities like Detroit and Cleveland, a lot of the lakefront and the riverfront is private industrial land. Chicago's really lucky that the, because of the initial charter of Chicago, it, where Grant Park is, it said the lakefront shall be free and open to the public. They took it seriously. That's why the Park District of Chicago now, they have a lot of say whether they build a new stadium right on the the uh, lakefront. George Lucas, the power that George Lucas had, he tried to build a Star Wars stadium here, or a Star Wars museum, 
and the park district fought against him because they wanted him to make that free and open and not be all private land the reason the field museum is where it's at because uh montgomery ward fought marshall field because M M marshall field wanted to put it where the buckingham fountain is and montgomery ward says no this should be free and open to the public he took it seriously and it shows you you know the the it's a battle of wills and we got to keep fighting for our right to protect our lakefront and keep it publicly accessible so we all can enjoy these beaches for free you know here's uh dearborn station here we'll cross we'll cross the street here real quickly cross the street here so i can film uh, there's dearborn station we've been here several times this is an old railroad station at the southern end of printer's row and we'll walk right up through Printer's Row here. We've been here several times. You remember this bike lane? We came down here for the Printer, Printer's Row Book Fest in the fall. Look, here's a Roots Pizza. So there's still a Roots Pizza up in Wells Street. That that new Professor Pizza used to be a Roots. This comes from uh, Quad Cities, but there's still a few Roots locations in West Town in the South Loop here. Here we we'll go right by the Franklin Building. Here's these beautiful buildings in Printer's Row. Hey, Destructionist, thanks for uh, tuning in for the YouTube here. Yeah, we're in the South Loop here. They got the window open. It's such a beautiful day. This is the Franklin Building. We'll go by Sand Meyer's Bookstore here. They got such a great, uh, yeah, this is Printer's Row. This used to be printing publishing companies, and they used to ship them out on the railroads. They got that mosaic there to the Gutenberg Bible, or the Gutenberg Printing Press. I'm sorry, they printed the Gutenberg Bible on it. And then uh, this is the Franklin Building here. And here's Sand Meyer's Bookstore. It's a great bookstore. Support your local bookstore, Sand Meyer's Bookstore. Find a great new book here. In Printer's Row, you can go to a, a great bookstore. And here, William, William LeBaron and Jenny, the row building. William LeBaron and Jenny, the architect that designed the first skyscraper, designed this building. And this is probably load bearing walls. Look how it is. Let me cross the street so I can film it here not get hit by a bike here here's Dearborn station and there's uh yeah <laughs> there's the Sears Tower look at this yeah look at this building William, William LeBaron and Jenny he would have arches and look they built something on the top of it there look at that's the Franklin building this one here and there's Dearborn station printers row Chicago hey they got this great fountain over here somebody's standing in it but hopefully I won't bother them if I film this they got the uh you can sit on these these benches. They got the typeface on it because it's when they used to roll the ink on the typeface. And uh, they got this great fountain here. How you doing here? It's great. And uh, yeah, see how the, 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 the words are reversed. Polk Street, Clark Street. They got the streets, names of the streets. And this has all been converted to residential housing. And uh, a lot of people live. It's, it, it, these were true urban pioneers that moved in here starting in the 70s and 80s when there wasn't like amenities and they converted this from abandoned printers warehouses when the railroads were removed and converted to housing and look what it started <laughs> sturdiest buildings yeah they're very sturdy yeah they got columns fireproof construction there sophie italian restaurant down here on uh we're on dearborn street printers road they got the outdoor city look at this yeah transportation building oh a tequila bar yeah tacos authentic tacos cervezas margaritas margaritas and sangria senoritas on dearborn go to senoritas cantina oh look at that nice logo that's nice transportation building so i'm, I'm going really fast because i got i got to make it back to work here it's always hard for me to go down to the South Loop. I don't, I just don't have just enough time to make it down here and back in an hour. But uh, I guess I could hop on a bike, but I really don't want to do that. <laughs> so here, we'll head straight up Dearborn. We'll get across here. So we're crossing Harrison. South Loop of Chicago still. Here, we'll cross the street here. There's Dearborn Station looking south.
Yeah, nothing's affordable. Did you, did you see the prices for where Brandon lives? I mean, it's amazing that the amenities, and Brandon was so nice. We Chris and I, we saw his place, and it's a beautiful place with beautiful views, and we went to the 57th floor. I call it the 52nd, but I think it's the 57th. Look at that building with the sculptures holding up. But to me, all housing in the major cities is becoming astronomically unaffordable if we go through any any recession or economic downturn regardless of who's president it's going to the banks it, it, we'll see what happens to housing prices i have no idea to me it's unaffordable for the gen z they're not going to be able to afford housing at the rate it's going and who, who are the people that have accrued all this value? Who are they going to sell it to? You're going to sell it to BlackRock, and then we're all going to be, BlackRock's going to own all the housing, and then we're all going to be, like, surf renters to the investor class. You know, is that what America's about? The, the American dream, I know people always, the American dream's dead, but here, I'm an adult, got a good job. I cannot afford any of this housing, too. I don't know how people out of college would, you know, even if their college debts were forgiven, I don't know how they can afford it. I don't know how Brandon affords it. He's got a good job in the hospitals there. You know, look at the, look at the Sears Tower. There's the federal building, the federal prison. There's the 311. Look at this beautiful view of the stock exchange. We saw the board of trade here. We got the mural here. But, it, you know, he pays over $3,000. And... Uh, I pay significantly less for that in Lincoln Park and my place is larger, but he has an amazing view and he has a lot more amenities. He's got a pool, I don't have a pool. And so that's why his, his costs so much more and it's a brand new building, you know. But it was so nice for Brandon to hang out with Chris and I and we had such a great day there on Sunday, so I'll continue to cut out some of the footage. And uh, we went to the Oak Street Beach yesterday, there's all kinds of things. No, I know, I know Anita. And it, it, look at look at the price of housing in California. I mean, it is astronomical, you know, and it's it's getting that way here. And New York City, East Coast, it's really expensive. Now you can find better deals in the smaller cities, in the suburbs, and in the countryside. You know, my father's always like he's he's secretly hoping I'll wise up and you know move out of the city because his cost of living is much less than mine, and he's on a fixed income because he's retired. And uh, so who knows what's going to happen. Here we'll go by the Harold Washington Library here. We're on uh, Ida B. Wells heading back to State Street. We'll just shoot up State, State Street. Chicago Public Library. Look at the bottom here, this postmodern behemoth. <laughs> Robert Morris College. We got some uh, housing, student housing over here. Of course, Roosevelt University's Columbia College is over there. That's good, Tara. Well, thanks. I'm still cutting out the reruns, and a lot of people missed it because I don't usually go on on Sunday. I, I know I surprised everybody. Thanks for being a part of it, and if you missed any of it, you can check out the reruns. We'll check out the uh, tulips here. Tulips on State Street. And you see how it changes from a planter, and then the subway's underneath here, so these are vents for the red line. Yeah, the American dream's over. It's just, uh, you know, I'm glad that the 1%, the, the uber wealthy that own everything, you know, they, they, for them, the, the Fed supports their interests more than ours. Here's Harold Washington, first African-American mayor of Chicago. Here's Harold. So we got the Harold Washington Library. We got the Harold Washington College. We got the Harold Washington Cultural Center on 47th Street. We've been to them all. We were down there for the Bud Billiken Parade. In August, look at the L. There's a brown line going over the uh, Van Buren Street. Elevated train tracks. Yeah. Thanks, Merck. Thanks, Merck. Thanks, John James. We'll continue to head north here on State Street. We got sirens. Always sirens in the background. Look how you can. Look, there's it's making the bend there. There's this plaza down. There's the Fisher's building. Chris and I always talk about the Fisher's building. A beautiful building there. You see there's the old colony 
and there's the Harold Washington Library. We'll get a better view of it once I get a little north. There's uh, DePaul University has stuff in this building, and there's a Barnes & Noble in there, and there used to be like a music store. There's a one wheel. There's a woman on a one wheel. That is awesome. I wish this bus wasn't in the way. There's a... That's great. Yeah. Yep. That happens sometimes. Sometimes you try to retire and you got to go back to work, or just for, you know, it keeps you keeps you keeps you happy, hopping. You know, it gives you something to do, make some extra income. And uh, Brandon and I joke we're, we'll never be able to retire, and Brandon's younger than me, you know. But uh, it's the way it is. We'll work till we drop. State Street Cultural Walk. There, look at the tulips. Beautiful colors. The sun, the sun's come out again. Where the UIC Law School has some, some. See, look how, look how much all these universities investing in the buildings down here helped out the South Loop so much. There's, there's, there's a young population. There's student housing around here too. Look at that beautiful building. That's uh, we're at uh, Jackson and State Street. Yeah, there's a Barnes and Nobles. There's the L going by there. Here, we'll get across the street here. Scenes of the city. We'll cross to the other side of State Street here. Man, there's DePaul, Barnes and Nobles, State and Jackson. There, as we'll get a good view to the Harold Washington Library. Those giant owls on the side with their wisdom. It's a neoclassical, postmodern behemoth. Here, we'll head up State Street past the tulips here. Got some blue lights coming this way, blue light special. Look at the tulips. Plain clothes policeman in that car. Huh. Here's the, here's the Richard and M. Maggie Daly building. Or, I, I didn't know that was down there. Look how they got those fake trees there. They, they light them up at night there in that plaza. Here's the uh, Jackson stop on the red line. State Street, Chicago. And that's the Dirksen building, that Federal Plaza. The Flamingo sculptures on the other side of that. So we're on State Street. Yeah, look how they got these plastic trees. Fake plastic trees. What would radio that say? It, they probably couldn't grow there too. It's too dark. <laughs> Lisa, how you doing there? I know. Yeah, the tulips are out early. I knew they were going to be out early this year. I was afraid I was going to miss them when I was at my father's house for the eclipse. But the tulips... The tulips in the trees are are blooming in the middle of April. What is this, April 16th? It's amazingly early. I mean, yeah, I, usually it's the beginning of May. And I, I could tell they popped out of the ground so in March. And I was like, they're going to pop in April. And they have. There's a few that might not pop till May. But most of them will be past their prime. But you got to, just like the cherry trees in Washington, D.C., you got to, you got to, Mother Nature... And I, I attribute it to climate change. I know every other people will push back at that, but something's happening. There's, there's, we're at Adams. There, see, we're back at Burkhoff. We're back at Burkhoff, so we're making a little progress. We got uh, 12:59, so I didn't start this right at one anyway. So we'll, we'll try to quickly as possible head straight up State Street and get back to uh, Lake in Michigan here. Hey, the tulips are looking nice. Got the sun. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, keep moving along, Merck. Keep moving along. Do the best you can. Uh, yeah, I wish you the best. We be a lot of people that tune in. We we all struggle with health issues. You know, my father had a knee replacement, and uh, other people tune in. You know, some people tune in. They got they they got uh, mobility issues and stuff, and that's why I'm happy to show people around, and you can still kind of experience what it's like to walk through the city and I'm glad people enjoy it and find some meaning in it you know and we get good commentary especially here on the lunch bunch thanks everybody yeah Tara too see look we all we all can relate and uh, I know I I'm humble enough to realize that I'm gonna age and I gotta enjoy 
every time I complain, Sarah tells me this too, I'll get complained, I'll complain about the trolls and stuff, and she's like, look what, you know, look what she's been dealing with this year, she had surgery, you know, I, I got nothing to complain about, I can still walk around, I got a job, I live in this beautiful city, and even if other people don't like it, that's their problem, it works for me, you know, different strokes for different folks, just like some people like to skateboard, you know, that's great. Here, we'll go past the tulips. John James, ah, that's great. Look at this little tree here. <laughs> so we're still on State Street. We crossed uh, Monroe, I think. We're getting close to Madison. Madison. Yeah, we're going to go by Carson Prairie Scott, so we'll get to look at the beautiful cast iron, wrought iron facade here of Louis Sullivan's masterpiece. One of his masterpieces, the Carson Prairie Scott building. Here's the Monroe building. I gotta make sure I don't fall into the L. One time I almost fell down the steps because I was looking to the side and I wasn't looking forward. <laughs> you can walk right into the steps. There, look at the tulips and look at the beautiful Carson Prairie Scott. Now it's the Gothic Target. Yeah, this used to be Carson Prairie Scott, so we lost our original department stores just like Marshall Fields or Marshall Field. Look at this detail. This uh, cast iron, Louis Sullivan designs. There is the target. And we're on State Street here, Loop of Chicago. 101, we got uh, 60, now it feels like 65. It feels really warm right now in the sun. As the sun came out, I'm glad I didn't wear a jacket. I'm starting to sweat. People are in shorts and yeah, there's more people. The further north you head on State Street, it gets more crowded. And uh, we got the light here, so we'll cross the street, and then I'll spin around and show you the facade of the Carson Prairie Scott. State Madison, this used to be the busiest intersection in Chicago, a famous shot where it was all congested in the 1800s. And it, when the trolleys, they got all the trolleys out of the street. Now it's just buses. <laughs> there, look at the Carson Prairie Scott. Look at that Gothic Target. And there's the L zooming by. Look at that. Scenes of the city here everybody and then look at this classic vintage skyscrapers state madison we'll go up here we'll go up uh, towards the chicago theater yeah we'll, we'll walk under the chicago theater on this side of the street we'll check out the tulips here it looks so nice in the sun let me get across so i'm not swimming against the stream here yeah the streets are big yeah there see we still got capacity it's not as crowded as it used to be so many people work from home <laughs> yeah UK they're small and narrow more crowded it's probably better for the shops but there's we got some narrow sidewalks Clark Street has some really narrow sidewalks up where I'm at they're nice and wide down here in the loop which is nice so uh, we'll head under the flag here hey, uh, hey how you doing man how you doing? hey that's good hey that's good how you doing that's great thanks for saying hello that's awesome that's great yeah, see people are friendly and nice saying hello. And, uh, yeah, we'll go by, uh, these, these are the clocks here on the former Marshall Fields. Let me get across the street here. We got 11 seconds here. But, thank you. Thank you. Trying to get across the street here, navigate through the crowds here. There we go. I didn't want to get stuck at the light there. And, uh, here we'll go by. Mace, now it's Macy's, used to be Marshall Fields. You get the nice window displays, you get this beautiful clock. See the Muddy Waters mural peeping out behind it there. Big Bus Chicago, Block 37. You know where we're at now, we're right back at the Macy's here. here you see the Chicago Theater sign, straight ahead. Yeah, friendly dude, yeah. Most people are pretty, pretty cool. I never can tell, some people don't like to be filmed, other people want to be filmed and you never can tell how it's going to go it's like to roll the dice <laughs> you gotta you gotta roll with the punches anything can happen when you're live streaming <laughs> this is real real reality this is not a simulation hey preppy and polish there you go get some polka dot jackets Block 37, Chicago Theater. Look at that Marshall Field clock. You see that in uh, 
Norman Rockwell's Saturday Evening Post cover. And uh, we're not going to make it across here, that's okay. Actually, it'll allow me to cross the street so I can get a better view of the Chicago Theater because it's 105. And uh, we'll, we'll film the Nederlander here. Nederlander Theater, Broadway in Chicago. They're showing Mamma Mia. They, they change it up every once in a while. Of course, historically, that was the Iroquois Theater, and then it was the Oriental, and now it's the Neder Nederlander Theater. And then there's the Blick, that German, German beer hall that they moved there after the 1833 or 1933 century of progress world's fair there's the jewelers building this is uh randolph looking towards the lake there you see macy's down to the muddy waters mural state street there's the chicago theater we'll go we'll go right by it here we'll get a nice view of it i know that's why there's you're on camera all the time i know you're on camera all the time you know, and, and I understand people are just paranoid. You know, it was like those people, I was going over to Ohio Street Beach. I ran ahead from Chris and Brandon, and they were carrying beer to the beach. I don't care at all. I, I should have asked, if I drank, I would have asked them for a beer. But, uh, you know, I used to drink, and I, I don't care if people bring beer to the beach. But technically, you know, if the police want to, they can they, they can they can get you for it. And they saw me filming them. I said, hey, I, I'm not filming you. And they're like, what are you filming? Because they were technically doing something they shouldn't have been doing. That's when people get paranoid. And that's usually when people confront me. They're like trying to, you know, control a corner or something. And they get, especially when I wear that blue coat. People told me I, I should get rid of that blue Columbia coat because people think it's like like police. And I'm a hippie. I, I fear the police as well. Here's the subway red line. Here's the Chicago Theater. Joe Satriani, Steve Vai. Yeah, that's what it was in Practical Jokers. Got to be at the Chicago Theater on uh, April 21st. There's some other stuff on the side there. Here we'll head up to Lake Street. Hey, he's holding up a sign there. Maybe we'll get on the news there. That's great. So maybe, maybe message. How you doing there? Are you doing that for the news? That's good. Uh, that's good. How you doing? How you doing? Are, are you doing that so the news can see it? Or you okay? Good. Thank you. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah, George Orwell. So here we'll head across Lake Street. Hey. They're still doing construction here, so it's kind of loud. up there look at this column they got here to see behind the glass hey Cesar Stacos hey Julie yeah TRG that's good we're fellow hippies you know you know what I mean you know for years you know I, I, I lived through the 90s you know we, we the, the, the drug war was still going strong you know and I understand they're, they're heavy drugs but then there's lighter drugs I'm on YouTube so I can talk about it. You know, we used to, just for like smoking pot, it could it could ruin your whole career. You know, you couldn't get a job with the federal government, you know, and even now it's state by state, you know. The courts have d d left it to the states just like other issues. And now we got this patchwork quilt where you cross state lines and you're in a different situation, you know. I wish they could change it at the federal level. It's, it's too politically untenable. But here's Harold Washington College. But things are better than they used to be. Things are much better than they used to be, trust me. And I gotta remind myself of that. But we regress in other areas. They turn back the clock and other laws and then other laws, it's wide open, you know, it's just funny. I think they legalized psilocybin in uh, Oregon and Colorado. I never thought I'd live to see that day, you know. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Here at Virgin Hotels, Trump Tower, I only mention it because people freak out if I don't. Some people that like that guy, I, I, I'm not crazy about him, but I respect people's opinion. You can vote however you want. Don't don't go by what I think. 
I got my own reasons to dislike that guy. But that's my own personal reason. I know everybody else has their own beliefs. You know. I didn't like him in the in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> Here's the Billy Goat cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. This is not the original location. We show we went by the original location on Sunday underneath the Michigan Avenue there. Here we're on Lake Street. Yeah, that's good. So that's good. Well, thanks everybody for coming along, being a great audience, and uh, we'll we'll start wrapping this up. We'll see. Uh, supposedly, hopefully, it won't be raining. And again, okay, I have I have a work event that I probably won't go live until five thirty or six tonight because I'm going to get some free food and stuff at this work after work event, and then I'll I'll I will start walking home. We'll see if it's raining. So it's going to be dicey on TikTok, but I'll try to. I'll, tr I'll make an attempt to do a live tonight, despite the weather. There's Now the sun came out, so it, it, when I started this live, it was cloudy. Now it's sunny. Look at this wind came back. Michigan Avenue's got the wind. Maybe we got the light here, so I'm going to race across Michigan Avenue, and then we'll win this live once we get to the other side here. But thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll uh, head across here. There's the, Tribune t or the Wrigley Building, the Tribune Tower. That's a beautiful dog there. And there's Nando's and... Nutella, Garrett's Popcorn, Michigan Avenue. Thanks, everybody, for being on Lunch Bunch. And uh, we'll see you later from Chicago. Have a great day. Enjoy this beautiful sunshine if you're here. Yeah, thanks, Merck, Shannon. Have a great day. Patricia, John James, everybody back. Back, Tara and Julie and Betty and Chris and everybody else there. TRG, we'll talk to you later. Kevin, thanks a lot. George Orwell, you got it. We're living in it. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day, everybody. Appreciate it.